In an era of remakes, rehashes, and remasters, some games preserve the essence of their original's greatness. Some offer a lazy layer of sheen, and some revamps are of games that had no greatness to speak of in the first place. We're going to list 10 game developers who might have just been sleeping on the job and took the easy way out on their revamps, reworks, and revisions of some of video games' golden oldies. Let's rock and roll! 10. Super Mario 3D All-Stars Nintendo. It's been 35 years since Mario Mania swept the world and its anniversary is being celebrated by a collection of three remade Major League Mario successes, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> the games themselves have a nice glow, but Mario 64 and Sunshine are still at 30 frames per second, and Sunshine's camera movement is a little jerky. These three games were so fresh and inventive when they came out that they were almost impossible to mess up, as changing them could be considered gaming sacrilege. Galaxy was such a fresh and inventive game that maybe a thin layer of shine is all it really needed. Playing the original Super Mario 64 on N64 with all its imperfections make the old 96 classic seem perfect, like an old VHS tape of a classic movie. It may be what some of your parents were playing before they met each other. So you always uh, sit up here on the roof? It just feels as though Nintendo owes the character that launched them into their Major League success something as innovative as the original was in its time for the Plumber's 35th Birthday Bash. But at least Nintendo remastered three good games, unlike some of the others on this list. 9. Deadpool Activision Deadpool was a mediocre game released for the Xbox 360 and PS3 in 2013 and re-released for the Xbox One and PS4 in 2015, riding off the coattails of the movie adaptation's release. Wait, what if you could never eat one of Samantha's tacos? What you talking about, Thomas? To be fair, the original game did capture the essence of the character's wit and the raunchiness of the comic. It's just that the game had nothing to do with the movie, with none of the celeb voices from the flick appearing in it. It's over. The worst part is not that they might have tricked a few consumers into buying a movie tie-in game with no actual ties to the actual motion picture. It's that the original just wasn't all that great. The gameplay, while ultra-violent, just like the source material, was repetitive. And this bad 3D beat-em-up didn't improve on that in any way, shape, or form, and didn't add any new moves to give the game a little more replayability. That's just straight-up slothful. Maybe they ran out of budget? You literally blew Wait. all the money! Budget. 8. Final Fantasy Type-0 HD Square Enix The game that sounds like it was named after a blood type came out in North America for the Xbox One and PS4 in 2015, four years after its release in Japan. This title was technically a PSP title, but looks more like an original Xbox and PS2 title with an HD moniker slapped on it. It feels like a ripoff getting a game that looks two generations behind. This game was a big letdown because, unlike the Japanese PSP version, the North American Type-0 HD has no multiplayer mode. I know that. How do you remake a game on a more powerful console and give it less content? The 40-hour playthrough feels a little long and there's a heck of a lot of reading to be done. And when you put in the time to read all of it, you start to realize that the plot is convoluted. And we don't know about you, but we don't play video games because we like reading. This game needed a full rebuild to look like a true PS4 and Xbox One title, as they did with the Final Fantasy VII remake. And when developers don't put the work in, well, we'll be there to criticize. Time to pull out! 7. Voodoo Vince Beep Games This original Xbox exclusive rivaled the best GameCube and PS2 games in its time. No easy feat. It was a unique platformer as you are controlling a voodoo doll, Vince, who has to occasionally harm himself in order to harm others. The Louisiana soundtrack and 15 unique voodoo powers, although pretty awesome, were not quite enough to warrant Beep Games dishing out an exact replica with just an Xbox One facelift, even though they've had 14 long years to think about it. I mean, who do they think he is? Mario? Here we go! 6. Cell Damage HD Electronic Arts The 2001 Looney Tunes-style car combat game Cell Damage looked pretty good when it came out for the original Xbox, like a cartoon twisted metal. 
but was awful to play. When the original is bad, it would seem the obvious thing to do is to start again with a new concept. Preserving what was good about the old game, like the graphics and the tongue-in-cheek playfulness of the experience. Uh, didn't you get the memo? Flip off or die, chucklehead. When you have 12 years, that's three different presidents by the way, to meditate on how to improve on it for the Nintendo Switch and you didn't try a single thing, maybe game developing just isn't for you. The game is like a beautiful car with a drawing of an engine under the hood. It looks nice, but there's only so far it will take you. Well, I'm, I'm sure the dealer will take care of it. 5. GoldenEye 007 and GoldenEye 007 Reloaded Activision The original GoldenEye on the N64 was innovative and genre-defining, so expectations were high. It came out in 97, and from the point of view of gamers living in that time, it felt like it was from 2010. And so you can imagine the disappointment of players who got GoldenEye 007 and GoldenEye 007 Reloaded in 2010 for the Wii and PS3 respectively, who were hoping for something that looked like it was from 2023, but got a game that looked more like it was from the early 2000s. This is especially disappointing when you know that games like EA DICE's Battlefield Bad Company 2 and Xbox Game Studios' Halo Reach came out that same year. It was more of a generic remake with lazy graphics that didn't capture any of the fun of the original game. Unlike the Family Guy episode, The Griffin Winter Games. Meg, this is what 1997 looked like. Hopefully, if GoldenEye 25 overcomes its cease and desist order and comes out as promised for PC in 2021, the Unreal Engine 4 powered experience will bring us back to the beautiful gaming memories of 97. 4. Silent Hill HD Collection, Konami and Hijinx Games. This is a remaster of Silent Hill 2 and 3, which should have been an easy cash grab for Konami and a delight for the diehard fans of the second most popular gaming horror franchise. Silent Hill 2 pushed the PS2 gaming hardware to its maximum, making it a crowning achievement in gaming. The third had some of the best scenes in gaming history, paving the way for games to be as good and as deep as movies, dealing with such heavy subjects as depression, loss, and life itself. The new game for PS3 looks faded, even though it's made for the superior hardware of the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's much less lifelike, with a cheap-looking fog, which takes us out of the illusion of the psychological thriller. This was due to the fact that Konami lost much of its original source code, forcing them and Hijinx to piece together some earlier code to grind out the game in time. What a nightmare. They also changed the voiceovers in the game, and why would you do that when the originals were great? You mean Claude? Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. It makes us want to throw up when we think about what could have been. If the much anticipated next gen Silent Hill is a remake like this, well, fool us twice. 3. Resident Evil 6 Capcom. Resident Evil 4 was the most critically acclaimed in the saga, and Resident Evil 5 was the best-selling Capcom game of all time. An impressive feat considering this is the studio that made Street Fighter 2. Then 6 came out on the 360, GameCube, and PS3, and the game was too big for its britches and let down its fans with its overambition and lack of engaging content. The reception was so terrible, Capcom had to re-franchise with Resident Evil 7 for the Xbox One, Switch, and PS4. You have to wonder, why would the most successful video game horror franchise of all time remaster a game so bad? Wouldn't that cannibalize the sales of the Seven? Makes me sick seeing good soldiers die like this. We understand you, Leon, but sometimes you have to leave good soldiers behind in the past where they belong, as dragging them along with you really hurts your legacy. If they re-release it again to go along with next gen's Resident Evil 8 Village, well, we'll just be mildly annoyed. 2. Night Trap 25th Anniversary Edition Sega This campy interactive movie game's history is far more exciting than the actual game. The notorious Sega CD title warranted mention in congressional hearings. I think that by manufacturing games like Night Trap, 
What in point of fact these manufacturers are doing are endorsing that violence. Causing many kids to tune into C-SPAN for their first and final time. It was lumped in with Midway's Mortal Kombat in terms of being held responsible for negatively influencing children and was a catalyst in creating the entertainment software rating board. You gotta be jabbing me. Some consider the game offensive, others seem to gravitate towards its dark humor and enjoy it the way old horror movies are enjoyed. But while the game is an interesting conversation piece, it only has 20 minutes of actual gameplay, making the $150 price tag for the limited run games' game with the Sega CD style casing seem pretty extreme. Whether we like it or not, it is a part of video game history, like a funny haircut, so we just have to make our peace with this odd game. Tastes like blood. Yeah, right. <laughs> 1. 3D Classics Urban Champion Nintendo In 84, Nintendo released its first 2D beat-em-up style fighting game, Urban Champion. You punch someone in front of a bookstore, and then you punch someone in front of a barbershop, and then you punch someone in front of a snack bar, trying to knock all these punks out before the clock runs out in front of all these storefronts which all look eerily similar. And this goes on and on and on and on with an occasional kick and once in a while some confetti rains down on you. It was 1984, so gamers probably didn't know any better. Maybe they'll find our current fighting games boring in the year 2056, but remake it in 3D? With everything else in the game the same? Really? For $5, you can play this game on the Switch or in 3D on the 3DS. Why? At least Night Trap has its rebellious, appalling appeal. In Resident Evil 6, you get to battle an invisible snake. The Silent Hill HD collection has... Oh, okay, that has nothing. GoldenEye 007 Reloaded is still playable. Cell Damage HD is tolerable for a few minutes at a time, and if you squint hard enough, you can pretend it's Twisted Metal. Voodoo Vince does voodoo, I mean, that's something. Final Fantasy Type O HD still pushes you to manage your time in battle in an interesting way. Deadpool is funny. Mr. Snookums? What are you? And Super Mario 3D All-Stars is still good old-fashioned nostalgic fun. But this, the 3D Classics Urban Championship was just straight up lazy. So lazy, we're going to be lazy too and just call it lazy three more times. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Which video game remixes really grind your gears? Did you like Night Trap? Does society hate you for it? Any Super Mario 3D All-Star lovers out there? What's the laziest remake you've ever played? Let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more from the gamer. Catch you on the flip.